Thank you. Uh, congratulations again, Larry. Thanks, Peter. Um, you told many times in the past few months that you don't feel like a Hall of Famer, but now you are. And uh, how did it sink in while you were on the days there? And, and uh, I saw you taking pictures or a video of the crowd. And so how did it feel today to, to be a Hall of Famer? Well, it was, you know, I woke up this morning. I went to bed about 11 o'clock last night and I woke up this morning at 1 a.m. <laughs> so uh, there was a lot on my mind uh, the whole morning and leading up to it and I even uh, scribbled out some things on my speech this morning when I was just laying on the sofa, just reading it again and, you know, changing things four hours before my speech and I was changing things. So, um, but, uh, you know, it went good. I, I, I did better than I thought. Uh, I thought I was going to cry some, even when I practiced at home in front of my kids, I, I, I cried a bit. So um, I wanted to hold it together as best as I could. And uh, fortunately, I was able to do it. And the next question is from Patrick Saunders. Patrick, please unmute yourself. Hi, Larry. Congratulations again. Thanks, Patrick. The question many of us are wondering, uh, SpongeBob square pants, a little pell pen, uh, your idea, somebody else's idea, how did that come to fruition? Well, I guess uh, with the shirt that I wore on the phone call, obviously, got a lot of attention and, and that shirt's hanging in the hall of fame right now. So it's, uh, uh, it, I had a lot of other people telling me I should have done something more. So, uh, the, this is what I decided to do to, to limit it to just a little bit. And I think I can now retire my SpongeBob, uh, little episode that I have. It's not like I sit at home and watch SpongeBob on TV. It was just a shirt I grabbed from a golf tournament that I played in. So it was, it turned out to be funny. And like I say, it, uh, hopefully added a little humor to the, to the evening. Our next question comes from Stu Cohen. Stu, please unmute yourself. Hey, Larry, I'm sure on a day today and yesterday, a lots of memories coming back. Do you have one memory from your days in Montreal that stands out above the rest? Well, it's, it's, it's you know, you, if you talk about my career, I always remember making it to the playoffs. And, you know, you don't make it to the playoffs if you don't play that first game. So uh, that first game against the Giants is the one that always uh, stands out up there for me. Uh, you know, I might have had other better games and, and things like that. But that number one game, number one at bat, that whole feeling of uh, stepping into a major league batter's box and, and playing a major league game against major league players, you know, and it's, it's, uh, it's never forgotten. My next question is from Owen Perkins. Owen, please unmute yourself. Hey, Larry, congratulations and uh, great speech. Um, I wanted to ask you kind of a multiple part question. You can choose the, the discard part of it if you want. But did you know what when do you know what the inscription is going to say? And what did you think of that? And also just um, is there something in your career that you felt like made you the, the person that you were on that stage today? And finally, just what was the most emotional part of this day for you? Well, it's, it's been an emotional day. And for me to remember all three questions you just asked might be tough to do. So um, I can't remember the first one. Look at me. I'm, I'm serious, too. Like everything, you know, the whole day was, like I say, I, when I set up on the stage, my feet haven't touched the ground. And that's been for the whole time I've, I've gotten here to Cooperstown. And I guess we can go back farther than that. But it, the, the whole experience on, on being here and, 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 and being, you know, just true to myself up there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm when I say I'm an average guy in my speech, that's, I, I'd like to really, uh, I would describe myself as that. I can go get along and talk with everybody the first day here. With a, we uh, walked down Main Street of Cooperstown, met some people, signed some autographs, and that's just who I am. So um, I don't know if that even came close to the questions that you just asked, but uh, here I am rambling. <laughs> I think one question, Larry, was about your plaque. Oh, the plaque, yes, so there you go. Um, yeah, never seen the plaque. Never saw the writing, what it said, or anything. Where that, uh, when those things are brought out on the stage, that's the first time we we see them and uh, and know what's on them. So, pretty neat thing. I know they read it. Uh, once again, I'm getting ready to do that speech, and my head's in outer space, so I can't remember what it, what it said on it. We've got time for one or two more questions. Next one comes from Thomas Harding. Thomas, please unmute yourself. Yeah. First of all, Larry, um, the SpongeBob SquarePants lapel pin. Is that um, custom? 
or is that something you ended up buying or how did that work? Well, I just answered that a second ago, but you know, it, it was a, a spinoff from the, the shirt that I wore for the uh, phone call. And I think if you go to Amazon, you can probably order one if you need one. <laughs> and our last question here is going to come from Ken Schott. Ken, please unmute yourself. Larry, congratulations. Uh, what, you mentioned about the Montreal Expos and you want to see a, a team in, in Montreal again. What was the experience like playing in Montreal and, and how disappointing was it the way that 94 season ended because of the uh, strike? Well, you know, Montreal, it was, like I say, it was where it all started. And I had you know, many great times up there. Uh, like any team that doesn't win, you wish it could have been that way to where we could have won. And uh, you, you wish that 94 season didn't end. And, and who knows, baseball might still exist in Montreal to this day. I've said that, you know, time and time again. So, um, you know, but I, I guess it was, it, was the, it was my big league team. It was the team I signed with, you know, the team that gave me that $1,500 bonus. So uh, I was loyal to them until, until, Bill was over, you know, but unfortunately, you know, it's a, it's a business and uh, we all understand that. So, uh, you know, I had to move on from there eventually, but uh, it, it was a great time up there. And, and now look at, I forgot the second part of your question already too. So <laughs> stupid. Uh, Thanks.